Hello everybody, yes, look, I have actually done something that the Nintendo Nerd has never done. The Jaguar CD is fully functional and working. Now, this is how the system works. You plug it on top of the Tari Jaguar, you switch the Tari Jaguar on. Now if you plug any game into that socket, it will override the CD and it will play the game. But, it does require, you see over there, two power leads, one for the CD, one for the main system unit. So this is the Tari Jaguar CD, fully working and functional. You've probably seen this before, but today I'm playing World Tour Racing for the Tari Jaguar. Now this came out, I believe, after when um, Atari, when basically liquidized itself and became a hard drive company for a while see that looks pretty good and yep we're now gonna play it let's put the camera down here over here this is how you open it up here we go let's open it up here we go it's opened up and this is the Jaguar CD boot screen and at the moment, it's reading the disc. Now, I wish the original Jaguar boat was like this, with all the colours and the Jaguar sign in the background. That looks way more cooler than that bloody crappy boot-up screen it originally had on the system. And now it's loading up. Now, the Tari Jaguar is reasonably good um, videos on this. It doesn't look low res. It doesn't look a lack of colour. It looks pretty nice. And I run this um, console on the big screen, and it still looks pretty good. Actually, I'm very, very impressed with the with the video quality. Now, ever mind about the Jaguar's video quality? The main thing is, what's World Tour Racing like? I'm actually very impressed with this game. A lot of people say it could have been more, but I think for the standard of what the Tari Jaguar was, and was basically look at checkered flag. The game have lousy controls, it looks extremely blocky, it looks like a lot more could have been done with the game. Now I honestly think this is what Checker Flag should have been like, it should have been more like this game, World Tour Racing. They definitely put a lot more effort into this game, they put a lot more effort into the music, they put a lot more effort into the graphics, they put a lot more effort to the, to the controls of the game. And it really does show. I'm very quite impressed with this game. It's a really big shame that the uh, Jaguar never had an inbuilt CD system. You know, like you get on the 3DO and the CD32 and even the PlayStation and Saturn because I honestly do think that CD games are better than the cartridge based games. Because they tend to have nice videos the not limited amount of memory and it definitely shows in this game if this game was put on a cartridge you it, it just couldn't do it now I know people are gonna say to me well look at Resident Evil 2 on the N64 yeah probably is exceptions of that but most of the time you know the CD is a lot cheaper and there's a lot more space on and you could do a lot more with CD based games now we're going to slap off topic again. Let's talk about World Tour Racing. Now this is the actual graphics in the game. This is the graphics that the Jaguar can actually produce in this game. And for Jaguar standards, this looks absolutely smashing. The frame rate's reasonable for the Tari Jaguar. And it's it looks absolutely lovely. You know, only, only they could have made more games like this on the Jaguar. It could have, it could have showed off more what the system was capable of. Now this is proof to the people who shouted, "Yeah, it's just like the 
Mega Drive. Well, I don't think the Mega Drive could have produced graphics like this. This is actually done by the Jaguar itself with no enhancement chips. So, so well done to the programmers who programmed this game. It must have taken ages, but it really does prove that the Jaguar can produce a good, decent, almost PlayStation 1 looking racing game. Uh, let's look at the menu. See, the menu have these, you know, looks like a film or CGI, what they call it. And it does make the game look very nice. It does look very 90s, I know. I love this bit where the arcade machine comes through the door. <laughs> I also do like the menu music and the music of this game. It does it's the right kind of music for this type of game. Now, what I'm doing, I'm playing the arcade mode. So you've got to at least get nine place or better now what's good about this game you can have all different views you can have a cockpit view and you also can have a view that can go out the car and I think there is another camera that can make it actually go further away now the ground does look a bit plain but I think there is a settings that could put detail on the ground, but I just forgot to switch them on. <laughs> now, the only game that comes a bit close to this is uh, Stunt Racer FX on the Super Nintendo. Now, I know that's a poor example of what it's close by, but I can't think of another game on the stairs that's close to this. But on the Mega Drive, there is virtual racing, but I think this game has more detail than virtual racing. Now, on this game, there's a slight ghosting when you get near the corners. The computer does take up a bit of your controls, but it's not bad enough to make this game uncontrollable. It actually does help you a bit because the corners can all of a sudden come up and the ghosting helps you go the right direction. But what I really do like about this game is you do feel the sense of speed. There are racing games out there that it does tell you on the speed monitor you're going fast. But you don't get that sense of speed. And I think that's what's really good about this game. You do feel that sense of speed. Oops. <laughs> but when I crash, I do turn around a bit dodgy there. <laughs> but, you know... I can forgive the game for that. Another credit I could give to this game is the collision detection isn't dodgy. Now there's a lot of 3D games, especially a game I'm going to review later. I'm not going to tell what game it is. It has pretty bad collision detection, but this game past all that they seem to have no bad collision detection at all so that's a never great thing about this game now I love the sound in this game it has all the perfect sound the car sound sounds perfect when you collide against a wall the sound sounds perfect now, that might be a small thing, but have you played a game called Club Drive on Tari Jaguar? That had awful sounds. And the car, it sounded like a squeak as a car engine. Now, the squeak is that bad. It's like having Sweep from Sooty being a car engine. Now, just imagine that in your head. Yeah. That's a very bad car sound. So overall, what I think to this game, I think for the Tari Jaguar standard, this game is really, really good. 
and it does prove what the Tarry Jaguar is capable of. And it's definitely one of my best games on the Tarry Jaguar. Definitely. You know, this is probably at least one of my top five, my Jaguar. And here I am, my third place. So I've done pretty well that time. I can never seem to get first for some reason. But, you know, third is the new best, I suppose. <laughs> now, you could just swizzle around that car. You could see the detail on that Formula 1 car. It looks absolutely fantastic for Atari Jaguar. Here I am, I'm getting all my wine and my trophy just for being third place. Not quite first, not quite second, but a nice third. That will do for me. <laughs> anyway, the next clip I'm going to show you is the game over sequence. Now, I laugh my head off at this sequence because it looks so bloody funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is the end of my review. I'll see you later, everybody, and goodbye.